Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Seven things the Bible does not say. Let's get right into it. So the first one is givers never lack. Have you ever heard that before? It's one of the most popular stickers that we have ever seen in Christendom. Yeah, it's a good thing, givers never lack, but it's actually not in the Bible. So what's in the Bible? Let's look at it together. So Luke chapter 6 and verse 38. Here the Bible says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shaking together and running over shall men give unto your bosom for with the same measure that you meet without it shall be measured to you again that's what the bible says we might interpret it as givers never lack but here is actually what the bible says the next one is money is the root of all evil have you ever heard that before yeah everybody says it it's not in the bible what the bible actually says is the love of money and you can find that in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. So there's a difference between money being the root of all evil and the love of money. If you, if you place too much priority on money, you put too much emphasis on money, you, you, you have deep affection towards money. Money is supposed to be a messenger. Money is not meant to be our master. Money is supposed to be something we use to get things done. So when money becomes the, the most important thing to us, when we can no longer release money, then money is becoming our master. That's the love of money that the Bible is talking about. Because the truth of the matter is, the lack of money is actually the root of evil. Because most people who go out of their way to rob other people, you know, they are doing it because of the lack of money. The next one is forgive and forget. Well, forgive and forget is not in the Bible. Yeah, it's, a, it's a good thing, it's a good saying. You know all those cards we used to buy when we were teenagers, you know, and we give to our girlfriends, and you say, oh, forgive and forget. It's, it's, it's difficult enough to forgive. But, you know, our brains are not computers. You cannot just delete, you know, an offense that somebody has done. You can train yourself to begin to forget about it and overlook some of these things. But it's actually not in the Bible. So what's in the Bible? Let's look at it together. Mark chapter 11 and verse 25. It says, and when you stand praying, forgive if you have aught against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. That's what the Bible says. So it's important to forgive. It's, it's, it's absolutely important to forgive. If, you, if somebody has offended you, the Bible also says that if you, if you bring a gift to the altar and you have somebody in mind, you are keeping malice with someone, you should actually leave that gift and go and make up with that person before you come back to give your gift. So that's how important forgiveness is. The next one is heaven help those who help themselves. That is not in the Bible. James chapter 2 verse 26 says, Faith without works is dead. That's what the Bible says. Faith without works is dead. So it's important to add works to your faith. But the Bible doesn't say that everyone helped those who have themselves. These are some of the things that we came up with. I don't know how some of these things came about, but people just came up with them. And we say them as though they are, they are scriptures. People even quote it like they are quoting from the Bible. But it's actually not in the Bible. What will be, will be. You've heard that before. It's not in the Bible. The Word of God doesn't say that what will be will be. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12 actually says that from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God has suffered violence and the violent take it by force. That's what the Bible says. So there's, there's nothing like what will be will be. If you, if you want something to happen, you have to make it happen. Right? Life does not give you what you desire, but what you demand of life. That's the way life is. So you have to make a demand on life. You have to go out of your way to get things that you want. It's a fight. That's why the Bible calls it the good fight of faith. You have to fight the good fight of faith. It's a fight. So you, you can't just sit down and say, whatever it will be, will be. There's nothing like that. <laughs> life doesn't work that way. The next one is once beaten, twice shy. So you know how it is. They say, when, if somebody hurts you once, you know, make sure it doesn't happen the second time. No. The Bible doesn't say that. What Jesus actually said was that if somebody slaps you on one cheek, you should turn the other cheek and let the person slap you on the other cheek. So it's, it's, not, it's not that you should now become a fool, but what Jesus was trying to say is that we should learn to forgive. Remember that person who came to Jesus and asked him, how many times should I forgive my brother? Until 70 times. But Jesus said 70 times 7. Right. So we, we just have to keep forgiving. That's the life of a Christian. The final one is this one. I've heard it since I was a kid. They say, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. I'm sure you've read that too before. It's not in the Bible. It's a good saying. What they're trying to say is, you know, if you are idle, you're not doing anything, you're not being occupied, the devil will put ideas into your mind. 
That's true. That's why the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, that we should guard our hearts with all diligence because out of it comes the issues of life. So you should, you should guard the things that come to your heart through your eyes, through the things you see, through the things you watch, through the things you listen to, and make sure that your heart is always... The Bible says, your word have I hid in my heart that I, do, that I should not sin against you. So that's the way to keep our hearts. I just thought to share some of these things with you. Um, like the video if you do. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you do that. And hit the subscription bell beside the, the subscribe button. I think that's what we need to do these days to be able to get notifications. Um, check out some of the other awesome videos that I have on the channel. I'll see you guys again next week. It's, it's going to be Christmas. God bless you. I'll see you very soon.